Hey guys, what is one and only? My name is AJ. Welcome back to the episode of Let's Build a City. How cool is it from up here, hey? All the different colours, all the different sizes, all the... Yeah, really cool. We're on episode 320 today, and I think that's a really nice round number to do a little bit of titivating around the place. I'm finding that when I'm flying about between episodes and, you know, just working on things by myself, I'm seeing these little patches like this and this that are just incomplete like like there's nothing there this it's not big enough to to put anything substantial on uh, but they look really weird when you're just sort of flying past them uh, and and you see these little empty spots just like a couple of car parking spots in there would fill that up uh, maybe a couple of trees in that one would fill that up and make it sort of surround so today that's what we're gonna do where's it gone there it is <laughs> We're just going to go around and, and fix a couple of bits that just don't look quite right. Let's turn the uh, the shaders off here. And it'll also give us a, a good opportunity to see where things aren't quite looking right. Like if we need to change the shape of an area. Or maybe we can say, well, if we just move that wall in a bit, we can possibly uh, get another a building in here or, or something like that. Uh, just trying to, to squeeze out all of the room that we can because we really don't have too much room left uh, Let's have that one and we'll grab this one now I don't want I don't think I want the car parking spots to be all the way up here I think if we do them more down here four five six yeah, and then One two three four five six. Can I squeeze out another one here? I think I can if I take this away and then that squeezes out just one more little car parking spot in there and along here I can then just stick down a little path and then when you're looking at it from above when you're flying over I think I need to move that little line out by one though I thought I'd try it back there but I don't think it's gonna work or maybe a double line will work I think I think that will just look neater because these guys down at Rainbow Row here, they don't have any, like, um, parking. Unless they park on the street. There's no yellow lines here, so they could. And they do all have a garage each, but maybe a couple of spots just on the side here. It just fills up when you're, when you're looking at it from afar. It doesn't look quite as empty. Same as this part here. So this is the back side of, uh, car dealership? Yeah, of the car dealership here. <laughs> losing track of what is in in the city uh, but this I'm not going to be able to put anything in here um, I, I can't even put like a little tiny micro building in here but what we can do is we can just shrink down stuff that we can't even do any detail in so ooh, anything sort of up to there and I'm not really going to be able to put anything in here so that means I might as well continue this path all the way down here as like a little shortcut if you wanted to get down this little alleyway, I love that about this city. I love that we've got like these little cut throughs everywhere. So if you're like running on foot, you can still get about quite easily. And then that leaves us with, uh, with a nice shape here that we could possibly do something with. I'm thinking um, even like a, a bit of a custom tree in here. Maybe a birch custom tree. I don't think ever have I built a custom tree with a birch logs in the middle. I just don't do it. Um, so I'm thinking let's let's get like that's like a middle point there and we might even make it a little sort of chubby fat but small tree So let's let's do a little bit of a trunk like this and then we'll get a little bit of roots going on Something like this Give it a little bit of substance Oops. See, I'm thinking something like that. That looks quite nice. Oops. That one. And that one. Okay. And then I think I, I want the canopy of the leaves. Do I want to use birch leaves on it? I'm not a huge fa fan of them. You know what? Let's do it. Let's keep it all birchy. So we'll just do this around here and that's going to be where this sort of canopy is going to start and i want it to sort of be a little bit fat and chubby i don't like this one here i'm going to take that one away and i think i'm going to take a couple of logs do i just take that one away and that one away 
because the tree isn't straight all the way up it's like it's like a fat one and it's sort of grown grown up and out okay now on this level i think i want it to come out i don't know about like this we're making this up as we go we're not we're not thinking about like uh previous designs or anything we're just sort of placing down some blocks and if we like it we keep it if we don't we just alter it a little bit so that's like three out on either side let's for the minute make it like one of these patterns like a like a diamond shape And I think I want to round these corners off a little bit, make it a little bit more circle. I'll just stand back and have a look. Yeah, I'm really liking that already. So let's just customize the underside here, just with like a couple of blocks. I think we'll just keep it like that, really. Just sort of fill it out, maybe some around here as they sort of hang down. like that i like that we'll extend down a couple like like every other one a little bit further yeah that's looking pretty cool and then i don't know what shape i really want to go i think i sort of want that to be the widest spot and then it sort of tapers off really quickly so let's um let's do a rough circle we don't need to be precise here you don't, you don't want it to be absolutely symmetrical all the way around so you're just sort of going to follow the line roughly We'll fill this in. You don't want to leave like a, a void spot in, in the middle of a tree. And then we're going to do another little rough circle on top here. Like that. And then maybe just cap it off with a few blocks like that. Now, what have we got? You know, I really, really like that. That is really cool. It looks in proportion and everything, even though it's got a two by two trunk. I think the sort of fatness of the leaves at the top here really work. I think that's quite cool. Maybe just stick in a couple of little branch blocks. Like this. Okay. Appeared then disappeared again. Do you see that? This looks like the sort of the, the the branches sort of poke out and around and stuff. I think that's really cool. Um, and then surrounding this, I think I want some really so some like double tall flowers around the edge of those. So maybe some rose bushes, mix in some lilacs and maybe a couple of ferns. Let's put the rose bushes because they're the sort of brightest standout ones. Then a couple of lilacs just to take the edge away, and then a couple of ferns in the other spots and something like that that's really cool and then how are we going to sort of edge this off are we going to put a little bit of a triangular um wall around it something like a block with a cobblestone wall on top i think that's what i want maybe a clay maybe like a cyan clay around the bottom here and I'm gonna have to do it like a little thick wall like this so we can get the walls on top look at that I didn't have to take away any um uh, any fence uh, any plants then and then if we take these ones away because they're just gonna not quite make the walls look right we'll search for a wall pop these around here you can tell that it like, gives me the impression that it's like quite an old tree here. And uh, like they when they were building the city and stuff, they weren't allowed to knock this tree down. That's what it sort of reminds me of. And then I think in the middle, we're just going to get some bone meal here in the little grassy spots. Just bone meal out for some little grass. Yeah, maybe the occasional little flower days or something. I think that's good. I think that's a perfect little spot in there. Wow, it even looks nice from, from up here. I actually really, I've never liked birch leaves. I've never liked the sort of, the the tone of the colour, the tone of the green. But that looks really nice. I mean, we've got jungle ones by the looks over there. They look very sort of, a, a very bright green compared to these ones, which are oak. 
and then and then the birch that's a little bit darker a little bit more washed out a little sort of more on the gray scale i think it still works so let's fly this way now i know that there's this spot on the right which is like a, a long thin one which i'm sure we can do something interesting with like every episode well before every like recording session look at all the animals here uh, i always think of this spot and i don't want to waste i don't know why i want to waste it i don't want to waste the spot but i don't want to waste it by putting just car parking spots in it like I, I thought car parking spots opposite the nice sort of sun houses here you know that look quite nice but there's something about it I, this part here was ingenious i think to use for like uh the cargo port here down by the storage units it just works really well they fit nice to e next to each other absolutely perfectly it looks really cool but i don't know what to do here i could probably fit a little thin building like we have there in there i just need to think of of what and then if we go underneath the bridge past the abandoned uh offices here underneath this spot we've also got a little green part that pops into my head quite often uh, and this is is big enough for a small building we, we could put something it would have to be really short like obviously the other building that we've got behind it because it's underneath the bridge and i thought of this to potentially be a little dmv now we don't have a dmv in the uk we have a thing called dvla which basically does the same thing apart from there's no physical building for it uh, when we want to do anything to do with like our, our license or registration and stuff we uh, we just do it online or we send letters um but in the us from what i understand obviously i'm, I'm from england myself i'm from myself so i don't really know too much but i think it's like a building where you go to like re-register your, your, your license and stuff like that or maybe even pay off fines i'm not quite sure it's a building to do with like uh vehicles which suits the area really well you know we're, this is the sort of transport district we've got the bus station we've got the car shop um all, all that kind of stuff it would make sense to have it sort of down a little bit of a quieter road and stuff um i was thinking like a little l-shaped building a couple of car parking spots it's doable we'd have to take down the um the lamp post here it's sort of in a dark area you know uh, it's sort of shadowed between these buildings and the train station so you can't put anything like really nice there um but i think a dmv could could work quite well even though we don't have them um in, in the uk i think you guys could probably help me can you guys do that in the comment section just help me out on like what a dmv actually is because i get mixed like opinions from from everybody um when i when i watch other people's videos that that include them just tell me what they do uh maybe some reference images as well so coming over here the beach needs a lot of work but i'm a little bit stuck on what i want to add to it i mean i've got these rocks which really help fill out a lot of the space uh, we've got like watch towers uh, you know lifeguard towers and the um uh, towels and, and and stuff like that uh, but i want some more something around here uh, i don't know what i don't know if i want maybe bleachers are they called bleachers that come out or something like that i get i see them on like beaches near me they're like little wooden parts that come out into the sea i think that's to gauge how how far out the sea is or something like that and um, that would be cool this area is all fine and we've recently relatively recently within the last um couple of months i think done the edging to the river so all of this is all good around here yeah okay let me have a a fly about and we'll come across the next spot that we want to uh beautify is our word isn't it okay i'll be back okay we've got a quick little one here we mentioned this uh i think maybe even last episode when we we're doing the interior to the school there uh this area looks a little bit plain we've only got spruce trees here for some reason i must have forgotten to plant the other ones so a nice quick fix for that is uh, is a couple of oaks We'll place these down. We'll just let them grow naturally. I don't really bother bone mealing them. Especially when we're placing more than a couple. Uh, one there. And the same on this side. Oh, not there. I don't like it when they go too close to the road. Because otherwise you can't really get a car through too easily. So like that. And then this part of the road has always felt a little bit blank to me. I think a nice wooden fence just wrapping around at least the outside and we might even do a little bit of the inside as well i think it'll just help sort of the flow so we'll just put this around here like that perfect um i think i'll take it away though i don't like how it joined up to the uh 
the grass there. So we'll just stop it there. And you know what? Let's see if we, we like it going around the inside as well. Like that. And maybe bring this one down a little bit further. Maybe match them up together. I think that works. I think that just sort of helps. And maybe uh, bow meal just... Oh, I, tell you, I can't bow meal it until these trees are grown. Let's just grow some of these quickly then. Definitely on this side. There's only like three or four on this side. Ugh. Tree in face. Oops. Will it still grow? Oh, it will still grow. Sometimes uh, they can be a little bit funny when bone, uh, like the ground is bone milled around it. So if we just do a little bit of bone milling on the other side of the fence. Well, if it's going to grow, we'll grow that one. Might as well just bone meal it. There we go. So now when we're, when we're actually on ground level, we can see the sort of little uh, flowers and stuff. And when we're up in the air, it's just a little bit more going on. Maybe a little bit of bone meal on this one. It's fine there when it breaks into the... Um, uh, the, the the mountain and the trees there. That's all good. That's fine. And I, I might bone meal the edge here, like basically all the way down, because I don't want the trees to go like really close to the road, which is why we've got them sort of back here. Uh, just need to get that perfect fly height. There we go. And I can go underneath the trees in. And just bone meal down here. I don't want a fence or nothing like that down this part. There we go. Just a little bit of texture all the way down there. It looks a million times better, huh? Bone meal's great. Great for Minecraft. Right. Next spot is over here, okay? So this is the, um, uh, what they call like the little long boats, Rosie and Jim boats that we sort of uh, took inspiration from. And it's a bit of like a... Um, uh, a bit of like a, a walk like like down the side of the river really nice with these clay trees that we done like ages ago like uh, autumn -y looking trees um a little bit creative you know to use the clay a load of car parking spots because i always imagine like people would come here for a nice walk around visit the sports centers and stuff uh, and i wanted it nice and wide which is what we've got here because I'm, I'm imagining like a lot of people sort of walking past but there's nothing really here for one i can't get onto the boats so I want to do little drop downs in the walls so we can actually get onto the boats. They don't need to be in line with the doors or anything like that. We'll just do them at, at intervals. So like this, three blocks wide, I think sort of feels right. And I think we'll just use like a nice wooden slab to signify uh, like like the edge of the, the dock, if you like. Um, and now do we want to do a specific amount of blocks between each one? If we do one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven sort of nicely lined up with that boat one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven we all love a, a beautifying episode now and again one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. I don't like to do these kind of episodes too often because, um, uh, I don't know. I, you guys seem to really enjoy whenever I do them, uh, but I just don't want to overdo it. I want to, us all to enjoy these episodes where we just go around and sort of tweak little bits. Um, but we could literally do a beautify episode every single day for the next year and still not have it like perfect. Um, so I just like to do these like like here and there. Uh, what's it? We'll do one more. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Maybe we'll get one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. That'll be right. That's that's cool. So you could almost like fit another boat in there. Already, it's just broken up that wall a little bit. And then I want little benches, and I think I want the benches facing that way. Uh, so we'll put them on the backs of these trees here. Now we've got these really nice little wooden couches that we use. For, which is perfect for this kind of use the only trouble that we've got is uh, these are all half slabs so the trees float so we've got two choices we either put them in the ground like this which i think uh, isn't the greatest or i got rid of the couch or we raise it up i raise you up and then we do it something like this and then we put like a little step around there, which I think is quite a cool idea because you sit a little bit, oops, you sit a little bit higher and then you can see more into the, the river and stuff, which is nice. So if we do this, oh, 
down here. Uh, like three more, something like that. Now, is there anything more that you think we could add to this spot? With um, I don't want to make it claustrophobic feeling. I don't want to like fill up with loads of stuff. Ah, I know the perfect thing. Little street lights, like little little lights that go down down the middle we can do like little thin ones we've got a middle point between this wall and the edge of here or do we not no we don't um i suppose i could do them here like that you know that could work and i want uh, something like chiseled like a little chiseled one at the bottom that sort of stands out and then i think i, I probably will need to use it's like grey on grey on grey. But the fence is just going to put a little bit of wood in there. They don't need to be too high. And if I used a redstone lamp, how could we... Like, like redstone lamp would be perfect for this sort of a little bit older feel. They join up to the fence perfectly. They're nice and, uh, and, and small. But how do we then power them? Or do we... I suppose we could put a redstone block in the middle which would light them up but then how do we how do we hide all of that i'm um, okay a hopper to cover up the bottom so that gets rid of the bottom part the sides we can use trap doors for i think if we use that trap door on that side and that side the top we can use a slab for We'll use the same dark wood to wrap around there. I think that's pretty cool. And then I think I want carpets above on the top side of these. Because you don't really see the light on the top of lamps. I think that's pretty cool. Now, do we want to put trapdoors around the edge of the lamps? Like your, your normal old school trapdoors. I think that makes it, it feels a little bit too chunky when we do that. This looks a little bit more streamlined. Let me just see with walls. Uh, what about if we use the other wall? We never use these walls. It's a waste of a texture, really. So it's, it's a terrible texture. I don't know why I ever made a texture like that oh no this this that's thicker than the um uh than the hopper so it, that doesn't work the fences are like the perfect thickness to a hopper look they line up really well okay what if we change that bottom one then to like a dark oak slab to sort of match the style of the top i think that works a little bit better maybe even a dark lo uh, a log a spruce um, that one. Yeah, is there something that it's like a pyramid that goes up? I can't think of like a pyramid, like a an upside down hopper. I don't think there is such a thing, is there? You know, note blocks could look really cool as well as the bottom. Oh, I think I like that. I think I like that. Okay, we're going to go with that. Let's grab this. We'll do from there. Now we'll do from there to there. And I'm going to stand on, on this side. And then we're going to go to the middle of this one. And then... Oh, looks like some trapdoors might just, like, pop off. That one. That one. There's nothing worse than not lining it up right, so you always just place an extra second in and getting it right. And then one more here. Okay. Stick these trap doors that fell off for whatever reason.
I don't like leaving them on the floor. I know they'll just despawn, but it's messy, and I don't like mess. And that one. Okay. Yeah, see, that's really... Where they, oh, it's because I'm out of render distance for the trapdoors. That's weird that trapdoors have such a small render distance. Okay, really cool. I like that. I think that just fills up this area. It doesn't, like, look quite as bare anymore. It looks like there's some love has been put into this part. Over here, I mean, this is a little bit blank. But it's right on the edge of the, um, the marina here. I don't know. I think I could probably get away with that being like that. Could probably add another tree in if we wanted to. Maybe, maybe we do that. Maybe we do that. We'll click there, that one. And we'll do... That one. And I'll stand over here. I'll stand here. It's the perfect place to stand. Because then I can go over here. And I don't even have to count anything out. I guess that one then. Even took the bench, look. Hey, perfect. Well, if it took the bench, we might as well take the light as well, mightn't we? So we'll copy that one. And then make sure we're in line. Perfect. Oh, didn't take the uh, slab on top. Trap door. Slab. Okay, now, and that's sort of filled up that area perfectly as well. Did I have to do anything in the middle? No, but we have got some weird slabs thing going on in the middle here. And we want to take these slabs away. That's just weird to have in the middle. I don't know. I must have forgotten this when we originally built them or something like that. The grass will grow back. Oh, the grass won't grow back here because there isn't no grass. Just place a piece of grass in there to, to start the growth. Oh man, there's no grass in any of these. Yeah, grass in that one, good. Not in this one. How did I, like, not do it in some of them? Uh, unless I'd done... I probably built the trees first, and then done, like, just a slash, like, set command, which changed it all from in, in, in these... That's what it would have been. I'm assuming the grass will spread. Maybe it won't because it hasn't got sunlight. But no, it should spread. Uh, okay, so that's that part done. I think we're probably nearly out for the uh, for this episode here. But let's just have a, a sweep through the center of the city. Surprisingly enough, the city center is like the part that I least visit. I never come through any of here when I'm flying uh, around the world. So I've got like a little path that goes around that office. There's a little cut through there with lovely benches between there. I think we might have sort of touched up on, on these middle parts before. Nice no parking zones and, and, and parking slots. Nice cut through here. Bench. Some leaves going on there. Nice trees in the corner to fill up the, uh, the blank space around there. Nice tree row. Uh, tree row? Tree row going through that part. Nice sort of little, little basic trees going around here. Okay, I think that's pretty good. Uh, one thing that I, I've literally, you guys don't know, I have been umming and ahhing about for about 100 episodes. is something so stupidly simple, and that's striping the cathedral here. Striping the lawn. I didn't, when we first built it, I think I even made a comment about not doing it when we were building the castle originally. Uh, not the castle, the church. Uh, but I think it's just going to look so much better if we stripe all of this land see here is such a large green area that just striping it would make so much more sense especially on an area that doesn't have any like headstones on it 100 percent, this should all be um all be stripped also i love this part we just need to do something down here because that's, that's like blank down there i like this is all mirrored and stuff which is great uh, but this part is just like nothing going on yeah I don't know what we need to do down here as well. I might add like a little path that comes around the back here. Um, maybe with like another opening how we've got a little hedge 
opening there we could put another one in there just for like a little walk around so you can walk around the back of the church in here you see we can do all all the strips it would just i don't know take the edge of the gr grass away i don't want to see too much grass especially within the city limits okay here's a little spot look now this is a pretty useless spot to everyone i don't think many cars would even fit underneath there. there's a car park across the road as well so what would you do with this i don't even know how i'd fill it maybe we just bone meal it and then continue that hedge from there to there so we'll, we'll bone meal it to fill it up so it's not empty grass let's start at the back here oh yeah We'll, we'll bone meal down it once, but then we'll go back down it and I'll spam click to get some double high fans of where I can, obviously. Might as well just double click everywhere. Save the run then. So I'm doing a lot of overgrown ones in here because obviously it's sort of unattended. It's sort of a forgotten part where no one can get to. And then we'll just run this hedge. And that should join up nicely there. So it's two blocks high on that side. And what is it on this side? It's like four, f three blocks high and then the fourth. So if we uh, do something like this. Yeah, just hides that away. Even if for whatever reason we were walking on the path here and you peer through it, you can still see that there's like flowers and, and some growth going on in there. So that, that works out quite well. Uh, bone meal. Just to do this little strip. Get some flowers. Yeah, lovely. Lovely. All the gardens all here are all done and nice. Maybe a little bone meal just on that corner there. I think that's where we're going to leave it, guys. I think I think this has been a really cool little beautify episode. Um, we've got actually a lot done. We've got a lot more than I thought we were actually going to get done today. Uh, it just gives an overall better impression of uh, yeah that's nice overall better impression of the city like more detail going around it if you enjoyed it hit that like button if you want to do or if you want to see more sort of beautify episodes then let me know in the comment section below maybe we could do one like every 10 episodes or so or something like that i think that would be a nice balance every 10 episodes we just do one of these sort of titivate episodes and, and smart and everything up a little bit uh, if you haven't already then feel free to subscribe and we should see you in the next episode bye